Welcome back to Tech Yes City. This is Brian coming to you guys today with a build up to the next video that we've got coming in the works. I've got to build these three rigs. One of them is an X58, X5675 rig. The other two, one being an Intel 8400 and the other a Ryzen 5 2600 rig. So this ultimate six core showdown is happening before the end of the month. Also, thank you guys so much for watching the Ryzen 2000 series review and leaving all the feedback that you did. Love you guys so much. And in the background at the moment, so we're gonna hit the road soon. And the reason, a big reason for it is because in the background, we've got the NUC review getting set up. I'm downloading a heap of stuff at the moment and that'll take a while because my internet's not, even though it's better than it was, it's not super good yet. Uh, so that'll be hitting the channel soon. Stay tuned for that. But what we've got here, we're gonna go over to the table here because we've got a list. I'm gonna go get two cases three one terabyte hard drive, three 120 gig SSDs, two power supplies, and they gotta be decent, or decents, that's my writing, it's terrible, I know. Eight gigabytes of DDR4, question mark, because we've gotta see how much of a ripoff it is. And for the Intel rig, we're gonna use the ASRock motherboard with the 8400. I also have to go pick up a stock Intel cooler as well, because I've ran out with the i5 2400s that got sent in. I had to use them with those machines. Uh, so I'm gonna go pick up one of them from a friend Everyone seems to have them lying around. Uh, this here is going to be the Ryzen 5 six core rig, B350 motherboard, of course, budget value for money. And then for cooling, we're using the Freezer 33, which is a pretty good budget CPU cooler. It does get some really good numbers. I'm looking forward to seeing how that will take the six core, what heights it'll take it to. But in the background here, this was a deal I picked up earlier this month and the deals hunt's coming too, so stay tuned for that as well. So much coming in so little time, but this here, we picked this case up. This is a Cooler Master something, uh, and we got this for 100 Australian bucks, which would be under 80 USD. Now it comes with an RGB LED controller, three RGB fans, they've custom installed them, and also a 1200 watt power supply. So what a bargain. I mean, this is gonna be the new home for the X58 rig, and I'm so glad I got that deal because I need good power supplies at the moment. I've ran out. So they're the three rigs we're gonna to put together and we're gonna go hit the road and do that right now. So I was just about to leave and this rocked up here, another X470 Taichi Ultimate Motherboard. So I have two of these now. So I'm going to be giving away one of these in the upcoming review for this motherboard. So stay tuned for that. And uh, ASRock also sent out their ML 240R from what's well, from Cooler Master, but they sent it out with the package because they wanted me to show that this RGB cooler can sync up with this motherboard via polychrome RGB. But yeah, let's finally get out the door. So we just got back now and they didn't have the power supplies that I wanted in stock, even though they said they had them in stock. So we ended up going with this 550 watt smart series and a VS650 and three one terabyte drives. They had those. They had two of these Western digital greens, 49 Aussie for 120 gigabyte SSDs, really good value. And I had to get a Kingston to fill the gap. And then there's the two cases down there, Bit Phoenix Comrade and also the MX330 with a clear side panel. So let's build these PCs up and take a look at them. So we finished the two new builds and that little mini RTX is looking so cute in this mid-sized case. And we've also got the PCIe cables just hanging here, ready on both builds for that GTX 1080 Ti. We're gonna use the Galax. So they're ready to go and I'm probably gonna leave the side panels off as we don't have any included fans at the front of both these cases. But it's time to move on now to the X58 build. And um, it's over here, so this is it right now. And we can see here, this is a mess, it's a jungle sandwich, and it needs to sort of be deciphered a little bit. So I've pulled this front RGB controller out. We're gonna take that out because there's just too many cables. Gonna sort of re-sift through the cables that are already in here that we need, and also give it a data vac at the very least, and of course some WD-40 shine, but let's get that done. So I spent about 20 minutes cleaning this thing up, so all the 
cables that we don't need, they've all been taken out and I don't even know what was going on there. It's like some, some weird tube around uh, the input output of the front panel. But anyway, all that aside, X58 is ready to go inside this case. And after that, we'll clean it all up and give it some WD-40 loving. So here we've done it. We've got three builds and they're all complete, ready to go. So ladies and gentlemen, I want you to place your bets. Who do you think is going to win this comparison? Because I'm gonna be testing a lot of games. I'm gonna do productivity and streaming benchmarks. And of course, I'm going with X58. He's so underrated, he's so underappreciated nowadays. People just don't know what he's all about. But he's gonna come up and save the day for you and you're not gonna even know when it's coming. It's gonna come, it's gonna Anyway, quick recap on the specs. We've got an X5675. He's clocked at 4.5 gigahertz. He's got triple channel random DDR3 memory. And of course, that is the graphics card that will be used across all three different systems. Moving on to the Intel system here, we have the 8400 with a stock Intel cooler on a B3, uh, H370 motherboard, actually. Sorry, not a B360. So they're the same in performance, though. You're not going to get any difference between them. Uh, they both support... 2666 max on the DDR4 memory. So moving across here now, B350. Ryzen 5 2600 or 2600X, same thing, especially with this cooler on it. It's got 3200 megahertz memory in it, but I want to hear from you guys' feedback. What do you think is a fair memory speed for this system here? I need your feedback because he's going to get clocked up to, I don't know, as high as this budget cooler will take it. That's where it's going to go, and it's going to get compared against this and this. So, need your feedback there, but while we wait for that feedback, we're going to go to the story of this broken promise. So here we are back at it again with the story behind the broken promise. Last time it was the Quad SLI and we did fulfill that video. I'll put the link to the story up here for you guys if you wanna check that out. But this time around, I did promise six cores versus six cores versus six cores. Now the 8400, that dropped last year uh, before Christmas. And of course it was out of stock and a lot of people couldn't get the CPUs and then they complained about the Z370 motherboards. So I was kind of waiting in the sidelines, thinking, well, it's kind of pointless to do that comparison if the B360 motherboards or the H310 motherboards aren't available yet. And the reason is because it's going to be a broken video. It's going to be like, okay, you have to go get a Z370i and just know the amount of people that would complain. They'd just be like, can't get a, Z can't get a B360, you can't get a H310, this video is pointless. So I was thinking, well, there's that there was that big fear. And then there's also the rumors of the second gen Ryzen coming out. So I was thinking to myself, well, I did make this promise because I did want to see how hard the Xeon could go. And we will be seeing that very soon. But then there was that as well, second generation Ryzen. So I'm thinking to myself, well, if I make that video in January, February, or even March, then there'll be a heap of more comments like, well, why didn't you just wait for the Ryzen 5 2600? This video is invalid. So as far as I saw it, I was like, well, if I do this video, I'm damned. And then if I do it and then I do it again a month later, you get people complaining that, hey, you already just did this video. You're clickbaiting. So this time around, I thought to myself, it was a strategic play. Wait for the second gen. And it just so happened that the B360s and the H310 motherboards, they all came out at the around the same time. So perfect timing to get this video done now. And yeah, that was the Tech Yes City strategic play guys so that's the story behind this broken promise of course that video will be out within the next week so stay tuned for that make sure you're subbed with notifications the email bell thing then you get the video as soon as it drops i usually release videos around about 6 p.m australian time not sure what time that is eastern time i think it's like 4 a.m so that should be when the videos are dropping usually also let me know in the description below clock speeds memory speeds and also games that you want to see tested with this comparison. 
And also I'm gonna test productivity and streaming as well. Uh, and so that'll be hitting in one big video. And instead of doing it in two parts or three parts, I'm just gonna drop it in one big video for you guys. But of course, until that video drops, I've got to install Windows on all these machines, got to get the games up to scratch, make sure they're running right, and make sure the overclocks are set in both the AMD system and the old school Xeon system. And then once that's done, I'll be getting onto the testing as well. So if you've got some games that you really wanna see tested or some productivity benchmarks you really wanna see tested, then drop a request in the comments below and I'll try and get that done for you guys. And I hope you enjoyed today's video and the story as well behind the broken promise. Look forward to giving you guys more content very soon. And now I'm gonna get onto testing this Intel NUC here. I gotta get that review done. So catch you in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye. We need to stop abandoning PC hardware, guys. Wait, no. Abandon it so I can pick it up cheap. Bang! Oh my god, X58! And then we've got the Arctic Esports, or whatever they call this thing, the... So, it's late at night, we've got the sound tiles, the ones that we don't need from the office upstairs. Also got those crappy white sound tiles over there. And instead of throwing them out, uh, we decided we'd make some diffusers which you put them in the, in the studio, for example, inside, and they instead of having echoes going off long sort of hallways, since the studio is quite long, we can put these in the room and they will just pretty much block out the sound or like diffuse it. Yeah, that's the best word to use it. So we're gonna put these together now by just, uh, we've duct taped these three, sort of like throwing out postage things that no one needs. There's a big one here. So we're gonna make three of them and test trial them and put duct tape in them and in the bottoms we've put wood so they balance so they don't fall over and yeah we're just going to wrap them sound tiles around them and see how it goes so here we have it now the sound diffusers are finished these things will hopefully help in the studio so we've made up two uh, three of them and after that we might make up two more just depending on how we fit them out in the uh, studio and how they actually work if they actually really do work so gonna leave them outside until the morning because the fact that we used uh, like silicon and um, yeah, so if we put that inside, the silicon will just might get on the carpet and I'm not risking that. So gonna leave them outside. Good night guys, have a good sleep.